So now we will issue notes receivable for property, goods, or services. And the whole goal here is to record the asset, the note receivable, at the present value of what was given out, whether it's property, goods, or services. Um, so in this case, Oasis sold land to Rusty Pelican, five-year note, maturity of 35 to 47. Uh, there's no stated interest rate. The land originally cost 14,000, and the fair value of the land at the date of sale was 20,000. So before we go any further, um, you want to, we have to sort out a little bit of the information we're given here. Um, so let's, let's just go down to this little yellow box. It gives us the fair value of the land. It gives us the cost of the land of 14. So we know we have a gain on the sale of 6,000. So the amount of the note is 35,247. If we remove the cost of the land and the gain on the sale, then the rest of it must be the interest or the discount on the note receivable. So we, we have to go to the tables to get the interest rate, but at least this kind of gives us a little framework to you know, think about the journal entry we're going to have to come up with to do this. Um, so let's, um, now we can kind of go back to the, the problem here. And um, so when you're exchanging the note for non-cash items, um, they, they give you some stipulations on the interest rate on what it, you know, it, if um, the interest rate's assumed to be fair, unless there's no interest rate stated, which is the case here, so you have to look it up. Um, the face value is material di materially different from the cash price for the same or similar item. Anyway, so um, here we do have to determine the interest rate, and that, again, is like go back to Chapter 6. You can do the present value or the future value to get that rate. Um, and so going back to the specific example, um, yeah, I talk a lot, lot more about the interest rate here. I don't think I need to repeat anymore. Okay, so our journal entry to issue the note, we're going to have the note receivable of the full face amount. The land's going to come off the books because we sold it. We're going to recognize the gain, and then we have the discount on notes receivable. Now, on this one, the carrying value of the note is going to start off at the fair value, the 14 plus the, the 20,000, okay, the fair value of the land. Um, you're going to we, when, once going to the tables, you can compute that the interest rate must be 12 percent. And uh, so, and actually on the exams, I'm not going to make you do that. I will give you the interest rate, but it's good to know how to do if you need to. Um, but just to be a little reassuring there. Okay, so the discount amortized um, and the interest revenue booked for year one will be the 2400, which is the 12 uh, percent times the 20,000 and so forth until you get to the end of the note, with this last number likely to be a plug. And again, let me get these so they're consistent. Okay, um, so our end of year one, reduce the discount, book the revenue, year two, year three, uh, year four, and year five, and you can kind of see where that all goes. Okay, so the main things to keep in mind when you're selling the land is that the, you, you really have to come up with a fair value. Don't forget any gains or losses on the transactions if you're given that information. Okay, so that's uh, notes received for property, goods, or services. Okay.